we're learning more about Harlan Crow as well. So I wanted to talk about that a little bit because a new report in the Washingtonian finds that Crow, a billionaire real estate mogul has a fascinating collection of artifacts and statues. These collections include Hitler artifacts. Of course. Two of his paintings of European cityscapes, a signed copy of Mein Kampf and assorted Nazi memorabilia, plus a garden full of statues of the 20th century's worst despots. Uh, not weird at all. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a few examples. Here's an image of some, look, trigger warning, because you're about to see some imagery that might be triggering to you. But here's an image of Nazi artifacts in Crow's home. So obviously you see the swastikas and it's on display in Harlan Crow's home. And three of the statues in his so-called garden of evil. So he has a garden of evil. Oh. And in that garden, he has like statues of um, Lenin, Stalin, Mao, Romanian dictator. Uh, Ceausescu. Yeah, Ceausescu. Um, and also the Yugoslav dictator, uh, Joseph uh, Braz, uh, Tito. So look. Hi, huh, that's weird. Hitler's not in the Garden of Evil. Only the communists are in the Garden of Evil, huh? Okay, so I have thoughts on this. Look. <laughs> I don't know what's in the guy's head, but there's an there's a convenient excuse for why he has all this stuff. And one of the people who happens to buy that convenient excuse is Ben Shapiro. So let's watch that video first and then we'll share our thoughts. You're not allowed to be friends with Justice Thomas because apparently they're now accusing him, I'm not kidding you, of being like a Nazi. Harlan Crow collects basically memorabilia from defunct communist and Nazi states. And he has a garden in which he displays these things to show what the what the capitalistic free market and Judeo-Christian ethic has overcome. Apparently, this now means you're a fan of these things. He said that he's filled his property with these mementos because he hates communism and fascism. Well, I mean, that seems like a reason why you might own this stuff is to remember the things that you hate. That's a <laughs> But apparently this makes him a Nazi and a, and, a, and a communist. What kind of weirdo surrounds him or herself with artifacts of terrible, terrible people and terrible, terrible eras in history to constantly remind themselves of the things that they hate? I just, it's weird to me, it's creepy to me. I Like, I don't know how to, like we can't do a lie detector test, right? I don't know what's really in this guy's head, but it's creepy and it's weird. And I don't know, I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, so guys, first of all, the Nazi memorabilia, according to the reporting, is in the house, right? So a guest walks into the house and he's like, whoa, there's like a wall of Nazi stuff. And he's like, what is this, right? The the evil folks, the, the left wingers are in the garden, okay? So again, this is, look, I, I don't know the exact interior design of the guy's house, etc. If you had like one piece of memory, like, hey, you have your professor, you have Mein Kampf in your library, you don't have to be a professor. That's an interesting intellectual thing to read it. Okay, no problem. Ben Mankiewicz, my original co host, tells a story about his dad, got some Nazi memorabilia. You know why? Because he's Jewish and he fought the Nazis in World War II and took it off their dead bodies. Mm -hmm. Okay, God bless. Okay, yep. <laughs> rock and roll. You have a wall of Nazi memorabilia, including Hitler's paintings and Sign copies of Mein Kampf. So weird. Like you're a fan. That's super weird, okay? This guy's got girl with a dragon tattoo vibes all over. So I know it's an old school reference, but like these weirdo rich people who are like, ah, oh, yes, I'll have a wall of Nazi memorabilia. Yeah. Oh, you see Hitler's art next to a Renoir. <laughs> okay, anyway, these are the guys that have influence over our justices because they're incredibly wealthy. But look, right wing, I don't know if you care about hypocrisy at all anymore. But look, I'll, I'll, would you want the liberal justices hanging out with George Soros every summer? Mm, good question. Would, would you want them going on Soros's yacht and Soros's mansions mm. and showered with gifts from Soros? And you really think that would be no big deal? And they don't report it, they keep it secret and hidden? By the way, they lose their minds over legal campaign contributions that Soros makes toward DAs that conservatives don't like. 
And that that's legal. Like there's no, nothing shady going on there. Soros is doing what all the other billionaires do, right? Yeah. And we don't like it. We don't no, want the No, we hate it. We don't <laughs> want private people like Crow or Soros or yeah. corporations to give any money to politicians. But it is but at this point it's legal. But this is not legal. This is him not reporting things, yep. bribes that he's getting from this billionaire. By the way, I mean look, every part of it is hypocritical. George Soros was nearly murdered by the Nazis because he was Jewish in Eastern Europe, okay? And right wingers, we did this story a bunch of years ago, blame him for not being murdered with the, by the Nazis. Say, oh, I wonder if he was a collaborator since he didn't wasn't killed. But this guy has like, oh, look at my Hitler paintings and Hitler books and Hitler this and Hitler that. They're like, no, no way. Scandalous to say that he might like him. <laughs> Your hypocrisy is unreal, guys. I don't know why you defend corruption. We never defend corruption on our side. Look, I know the libs do it. I know MSNBC does it. We never do it. Why don't you just be consistent for once and go, what the hell is he not reporting those for? I wonder what he's hiding. It's not that hard. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.